Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to find the RetroArch application folder on Steam Deck. Before I continue, I take no warranty for your Steam Deck. The risk involved is 100% your own. So the first thing you need to do is turn on your Steam Deck. And then once you're on the main menu, go to the Steam menu and then go to Power. And then go to Switch to Desktop. And then once you're in desktop mode, go down here to Dolphin File Manager and open it. Right, so you should see something like this. What you need to do is click on Home. And then up here next to Home, if you just click here, you should see the file path open up and you'll see Home slash Deck. So what we need to do now is access a hidden folder. So you could either do this using the Steam Deck built-in keyboard by pressing the Steam button and X, or you could plug in a USB or Bluetooth keyboard. So type in dot local forward slash, and then press enter. And now you should see these two folders, share and state. So go to share, and then go to Steam, go to Steam apps, and common and then you should see the RetroArch folder. And then open it, and now you've found your RetroArch folder. So I'm guessing the folder is hidden away from the user to protect against users accidentally breaking it or deleting something by accident. As some of you may know, my channel is full of cool things you can do in RetroArch, such as installing custom shader presets and various other things. And now you know where the RetroArch folder is in Steam Deck, you can also try some of those projects. Now, I should have said this at the beginning of the video, this guide is for the version that's been installed from the Steam Store not Emu Deck or anything else. So if you installed RetroArch on Steam using the Steam App Store, then this guide should work for you. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.